Hello everybody, thank you for tuning into this presentation. My name is Edwin Rodriguez and I would like to talk to you about my master by research project at the University of Edinburgh, which is titled Fossil Microorganisms from the Rhiney Chair, Importance and Implications for Early Ecosystems. So the major aim of this project is to identify fossil microorganisms from the Rhiney Chair and by doing so, we will investigate how the original bacterial and microbial diversity correlates with its depositional environment. Particularly, we will be focusing on the subsequent study and characterization of possible fossil cyanobacteria. The Rhiney Chert is a remarkable paleontological site located in Aberdeenshire, Scotland, originated by an old hot spring system around 407 million years ago. This hot spring environment gave rise to silica sinters and chert units, along with several lacustrine sandstone and shales, resulting in a diversity of microenvironments due to the series of pools of fresh water that were created. The higher content of silica allowed the fossilization by permineralization of the macro and microbiota of this particular paleoecosystem. Fossils display an extraordinary and detailed preservation of the oldest vascular plants as well as other organisms such as algae, lichens, fungi, terrestrial arachnids, insects, crustaceans, amoebae, and cyanobacteria have been found and studied. However, the research of microfossils of bacteria has received little attention and remains unknown the wide spectrum of microorganisms that inhabited the Rhiney Chert, along with their possible ecological role in this ancient ecosystem. The identification, morphology, and taphonomy of fossil bacteria, their diversity across microenvironments, and the description of intracellular features are some of the key points from our hypothesis. To carry out this research, thin sections of the Rhiney chart are being studied by petrographic analysis and mapping in order to identify microbial fossils in the first place. So far, among our findings, we have a filamentous bacterium, bacteria with anabina-like morphology, colonies of cacoid bacteria and the already documented cyanobacteria Rhinocercina devonica. Other findings have been fungi and the recently described tested amoebae Pedoleptoclamis hasi. On the second stage of the research, optical analytical methods will be used to obtain more chemical and mineralogical information, including Raman microscopy with infrared spectroscopy, confocal laser scanning microscopy and limited scanning electron microscope. Although some Raman tests have been already performed, a further comparison among different types of fossils needs to be achieved to report the results. Finally, we will apply quadrat sampling on image mosaics to make a taphonomic analysis of the samples, as well as a principal component analysis using the Raman signatures corresponding to our fossil microbes as a way to observe possible differences between different taxa. Thank you again for checking this talk and a special thanks to the team of Procpal to make possible this event in these extraordinary times. If you have any questions, I would be more than happy to get in touch through email or Twitter. Stay healthy, safe and enjoy the rest of the talks.